Well, you know what? I love to breathe new life into something that only had one life, what you thought had one life. So these prom dresses are hanging in the closet, and you're never going to wear them again. Just taking up room. Why do we keep them? Well, okay. it's hard to think that you could take a mom's dress and turn it into something a daughter would enjoy well, wearing. First of all, it has to be their size right. almost, doesn't well, it? Well, no, there's lots of tricks and things you can do. Oh, Jane. And, and listen, like, nobody wants to bring their mom to prom, okay? Right. But you can bring a little bit of your mom and honor her and then also have a one-of-a-kind piece. Okay. I so love it. And what we did was the midriff here. A two-piece look is very on trend right now for prom. How cute. We use every piece of so Sherry's right. dress. Let's, All right, let's yes, roll down. down. That's an Olympic game right. right there. Well, you got your own tickets here. What's everybody wants to be invited to your party. Everybody wants to be invited to your Olympic Village. So why not create your own invitations that are your, your tickets to the Olympic Village? Now, we're going to pull a page out of our Christmas ornament decorating, and we're going to okay. make salt dough ornaments. So you make the salt dough ornament, again, recipe on the website, and then you bake them like cookies. One hour, 300 degrees. They come out looking like cookies. You cannot eat them. Uh, usually they're made for ornaments on your right. Christmas tree, but you're just going to cut them out. Use a use a bottom of a cup. And you know? here's the finished product. And, here, and you're going to paint them up. And then here is your finished product. Wow. Bronze, wow. silver, and gold. Spring is in the air and it's time to brighten up your home decor. Today we're going to make a fun and festive garden hose wreath. Save you money. These are fun and easy tasks to do by yourself or even with your kids, okay? okay. And we're going to use three simple things. Okay. We're going to use gems, we're going to use paper, and we're going to use fabrics. Okay. These are bell bottoms. These are so hot. Right. And so I just hot. cut out some material, cut them at the knees. I'm actually wearing a pair. Look at you this. Can show that. Can you see? You did that this morning. So you've got I did that creative thing going. All right, Jane, give everybody at home your website. DIYbyjane.com for more tips as they're all up there. You, young lady, have been doing DIY projects since you were seven years old. Maybe even younger like at age five, I would run downstairs, turn on the cartoons and start making something out of an old oatmeal box really? or like a towel, your paper towel roll. Yeah. But at seven, my mom taught me how to sew. Oh, look at you. Is this yeah. you sewing at seven? That is what we just sewing saw? at seven. Yeah. She taught me how to sew because she was tired of me stapling my Barbie clothes together. Yes. You know, okay. it's spring cleaning time. So it means take everything out of your closet and turn the trash into treasure before you get rid of it. So we're going to start with those jeans that you thought you might fit into <laughs> next fall. Not going to happen. I know those jeans. So. This is one pair of jeans, right? So you use the front, the back, you sew the legs together and you put a little base in the bottom. I'm going to show you how you don't have to sew a little bit later. Okay, but good. an idea for your jeans. I use glue all the time. That's glue is absolutely fine. Of course, mending tape, things like that. It's all about the fashion. Everybody is watching this show with like 11 million viewers last week exactly. and growing every week. Every week. But not only are they talking about the storyline of the show, they're talking about the fashion. They sure are. Because the fashion is the entertainment. And everybody wants to know, what is Cookie wearing? Everybody wants to know. what it, Cookie is like the hottest character on TV today. And her clothes are the star of the show. Her clothes are the fashion. Right. You just put them out. I've sewn them together. You can glue them together yeah. and create your own tablecloth. So hot glue will work with this? Hot glue will work great. Okay. You know what? Uh, what else would work really well is it's called no sew, so it's a non-stitch glue, ah, so that okay. you can throw that in the washing machine as well. Oh, yeah. um, the other thing, listen, you don't have to sew at all. No sew project, just lay them down the center on That's top true, of each yeah. other, and then and you've got your table runner or a table cross. That's great. Uh, and then moving on to upcycling, how about taking all of those old denim jeans that you don't want to wear anymore? Mm. We're doing kids crafts, we're doing adult crafts, we're doing crafts for the entire family, which is what do you want to do to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Beautiful. Wow, this is magic. Isn't that beautiful? I, I feel I feel like I've really created something that can be uh, game changing. Yeah. And my recommendation, maybe you know, anything, anything creative is good. Maybe a little bit more glitter. <laughs> the more glitter, the better, is what I always I'll, say. I'll do better next time. I promise. Oh, you're doing good. And then you fill it with anything. I filled it with my favorite candies. Of course, it looks like gold. Very exactly. nice. You can't have a football field without goalposts, but I want the table decor to be useful. So what I've done is added just a really simple brown paper bag, and you put your popcorn in it, so people to can hold walk it up. By, yeah, to hold it up and grab, walk by and grab your popcorn. And you've got a quick snack yeah. right so there. So I, I want it to be useful, not just pretty. And Speaking of used yeah, footballs, let's, let's talk about we, can't, this we have to be current I day. Uh, <laughs> I have said, since what's going on in the world is deflated footballs, we're going to serve your guacamole and salsa in as I bowls just into the deflated this footballs. Idea. It's so easy to make. I made these all in like 10 minutes. No big deal. You have them at your house. You're, you're great. Okay, Fantastic. next. Nobody's <laughs> using their CDs anymore. Nobody's Nobody's using them anymore. Taking the music off, putting it on our computers. We're going to do CD coasters. Here's a couple wrapped up. You do sets of eight. These are old CDs. You take the felt and you stick them on the back. Here's your job. Take the sticky back felt. Yes. Okay. Take your CD. Mm -hmm. You're going to trace around it and cut it out. And then I mean, my favorite part about the pom-pom is what you can do is once <laughs> oh, no, it's no. all, you just give it a little haircut. <laughs> 
you know, right Mine around the Mine is so edges. sad. It's really fun. It doesn't grow back either. <laughs> so, right. I spent the entire weekend in my storage unit, and I said, I got to throw this away. I got to donate it. I got to save it. I'm going to save it. How do I make it something I can use and turn that trash into treasure? I so we're going to start because we've got a lot, a lot to cover. My favorite. This is a lamp. You would find this in any storage unit. This lamp happened to be my parents' bedside table lamp for, for as long as I can remember. Okay. And I found a box of love letters. And this is when he was courting her before they were married. Like very personal memories. You kind of put them right here it's to remember. It's a memory lamp. And you could do this with a pen pal. You can do this with a grandparent that you're writing to. Or letters to your child growing up and they go to college or exactly. something. Exactly. And I, this is just my favorite thing. I'm going to oh. use this now. Before I didn't want to use it, now I love it. It's so beautiful. But these are called tile nippers, okay? You can get them at any nippers. hardware store. Okay. You think to yourself, I am never going to be able to cut this plate of china. That's what, kind of what I'm thinking. Right? Jane. Me too. I'm like, I'm not strong enough, but check this out. Just go right in there and oh, so, oh! Did that you was see, easy enough? See that? Look at that! Oh, that's easy. Did how, you guys see how easy that is? That was so fun. Did you want to try it? Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Yeah. Recycle it, reuse, refashion, refurbish. I don't know about you, but I got a lot of stuff just in my house, <laughs> and I really like to instead of taking up closet space, turn it into something useful yeah, and make festive. it functional. Very yeah. nice. So we'll start right here from ball gowns to ball caps. We'll start with the ball gowns. We've got prom dresses and homecoming dresses and bridesmaid dresses. These dresses, you can easily cut them up and oh, turn, so turn them the into beautiful wreaths. Yeah, so buying this material in a store, it's gonna cost you a fortune. You buy a, a gown or you have a leftover dress. It's gathering dust. It's gathering dust and you're using all the different fabrics and materials and embellishments that are already on that dress. That so it's, is a great, it's really great done idea. on a dime. Okay. okay, and how do you attach it to this? You just pin it. Pin it, okay. You pin them Very on nice. and then the good news is after you pin Representing. them. You're representing, but if your team goes on a run, you can take them off. And you can still wear them. That's what I'm talking about. Real yeah. quickly, you've got some corks. Yes, very we've cool. got some corks. It started off like this, right? Very, very simple. Yeah. Just a plain old red purse on both sides. I took some flat-backed beads and just glued them on. Right? How simple is that? Now you got a great purse. This is perfect for tonight's Blackhawks game. So we've got the red and we've got the fabulous. I love it, Jane. And, that, and there, this is foolproof. Nobody can mess this up. This one is easy and you can go any style you want, any colors you want. I, so I took some upholstery. There's the before. Uh -huh. You see that? So it's cute, outdated, sort of out of style. Sure. So I took some upholstery um, leather and I fringed it up and I added a strap. How cute is that? Festival ready, right? Look Festival at that. Festival ready and fringe ready. is so in for the summertime. Isn't that great? And that was this was a off-white, oversized bag. I like to call them uh, sidecars because you put everything you can carry in it. You stuff it real big, right? I stuffed it real big. This I wore it till it couldn't wear it anymore. And I just dyed it. I threw it in some dye. There it is as an old purse. And here it is as the remade purse did nothing but dye. Fourth of July is all about celebrating. So we figure let's decorate from your toes to the tabletop. So we have some fun, family-friendly, festive ideas for the fourth. We're going to start with this. Table decorations. I call them ribbon sparklers. Now, clubs, everyone's wearing them. You want to decorate them, maybe you didn't get a pedicure. It's super easy. You just take ribbon, fun ribbon from the craft store, and just tie it around the toes. Ellie is wearing. Well, let's take a look at the shoes here, because you two out did. I mean, well, let's yeah. just check out these 4th of my July shoes. shoes. These are my 4th of July shoes. <laughs> Ellie's, of course, were made with the ribbons and the decorating. Mine were not. <laughs> Remember Pretty in Pink, the movie, when Molly Ringwald's character remade that dress into her prom dress? Well, that's what we did. So two Plainfield North High School students went into the closet and grabbed their old, well, not their old mothers, their beautiful young mothers, but their 1980s dresses. And we remade them into gowns that they're going to wear to prom this year. So they're done. We remade the oh. dress, put Carly in it for this year's prom. And Carly... Come on out. Carly, you look, at look how spectacular. So tons of fabric to this dress. We we cut up the skirt. We added some crinoline on the back. We used the bottom of the skirt to make the cummerbund and the halter top. So it, I just cut the top of the dress, but we're using the bodice. I sewed on some gems and Carly is ready to go to prom. Oh, what is that cut? I don't know. But look at the revised, re-upcycled dress that Emma's in. Come on over, Emma. Oh gosh, that looks great. I love what you do with the train in that. the back. We just cut off the skirt of that dress and we made a very elegant black, uh, black and red high-low skirt, which is so on trend right now. And then we did the exposed zipper in the back, added some rhinestones, 
And Emma is ready for an elegant night out. She looks absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? Halloween is not just for kids. Adults can have some fun, too. Oh, yeah. And my favorite thing is to go to a Halloween costume party, and you look like you're on the set of a movie. And it's nothing that anyone else is wearing. And nothing that anyone else is wearing. Now, here's the deal. Halloween can be creative and it's fun and you do it yourself and you could do it for pretty cheap. Okay. So I have some ideas. All right. Everyone have. This is actually a bad costume. You go to one of those Halloween pop-up stores. Oh yeah. It's a little short dress. Now I've added tons and tons of fabric and jewels and gems to make it her own, to make it a little bit more uh, uh, embellished it. and big and rebellished and French just like Marie Antoinette You was. got your bedazzler out? You <laughs> had the bedazzler <laughs> out, yeah. I added some beads and some uh, ribbons. And you know what? Her accessory is that cake in Marie Antoinette's oh. famous words, let them eat cake. So she, now you don't want to look at her eyes because she is Medusa. <laughs> the great thing about this is it's any dress you have at home. It could be a bridesmaid's dress. Oh yeah, and those get used a lot, right? Yeah, it, bridesmaid's dress. It could be a vintage gown. Uh, that you have that, that you got at the thrift store. Um, the key here is the hair and makeup. So what's easy is you grab any green, gray, or black dress and uh, go crazy with your hair and makeup. I, you are brave enough to wear this costume. <laughs> you get all the attention that you deserve, oh, right? Oh yeah. So uh, easy enough. It's a bikini top and a pair of boy shorts. Of course, you can cover up with all of those feathers. Okay. Uh, feathers can be expensive, but, but you is that just, just like a feather boa? Or it's something? a feather boa. And then if you want to turn around, Daniela, she's got the back piece, which are Feather blue gun is your best friend here, and just a wrap skirt, a piece of fabric. Okay. And last but not least, our couples this costume because we can't forget about the couples: Senorita and the Matador. Ooh. So you're just gonna get an old red vintage dress, and uh, you're gonna embellish men's pants and awesome. a jacket. Just glue that on, and, and you never make a mistake because Halloween is creative. Have yeah. some creative fun. All Halloween is not supposed to be stressful. No. Halloween is fun. So what you can do with your kids is make these costumes. I have a couple ideas that are really cheap. They're not going to break the bank, and they're not going to break your back. So should we get started? We're we talking about toddlers. You're going to have them out there <laughs> trick-or-treating. You want to keep them warm, and you don't want to cover up their outfits. So our first model is Chloe. Aww. She's a year and a half. She's our little stinker. So it's very <laughs> simple. She's wearing a black sweatsuit, and I just added some white faux fur. Oh, it's good down. for crawlers, too, apparently. It's good for crawlers. And you know what? Her tail I stuffed. So she can use it as a pillow if she gets a little tired and wants to lay down. It's like Hi, Seth Dad. got into the spaghetti and meatballs. Basically, again, it's a sweatsuit. We're going to keep them warm. And what I've done is taken a mop and use the mop as the noodles. Great and, idea. And brown pom-poms as the meatballs. And the colander I got at a garage sale over the summer for like 25 cents. Oh, I love and it. And that's just, um, I taped it onto like a red baseball cap. So we've got this. Right. And so that's, it. A, that's really easy and really cheap. And that's Craft Store. That's Glue Gun is your best friend. So he is the fashionable version oh, yeah. of Frankenstein. Um, and the cool thing about Charlie's outfit is we're using everything that he's grown out of from last year. He's got, um, his pants were too short, but they fit in the waist, so we cut the edges, threw them in the washing machine, and frayed the bottoms. And his shoes were too short, so we cut out the toe. Perfect. And used them as Frankenstein. The blazer is actually his mother's. We just pinned up the back, and his hat is a milk cart. And you can make a showpiece. Halloween costume and become a peacock. Really easy. I just did a little circle skirt for her and found a sea blue leotard. I love it. Uh, Where do you get the eyes from? These are googly eyes. <laughs> Everybody googly needs to have googly eyes, eyes at home. If you're yes. a crafter, you have googly eyes. Baby, you're a fire. You work. Come on, show them why.